everyone welcome to my channel welcome for all those of you that are watching me today i just want to give a testimony to encourage someone to let you know that you are not alone and the heavenly father is watching over you and he will fight your battles for you his hands is upon you his protection is upon your life so i just want to give that testimony that was something that happened in my life one of what that happened in my life when i was growing up as a young girl and i just will i will explain to you how i what how i saw on my bed had worms worms on my bed how can that be how can that be small worms on your bed all over so i'll be explaining to you in a while so i was just saying be encouraged you are not alone god is with you if god is with you who can be against you if god is with you who can be against you so i'll try to make that video i don't know if there will be noise around but i'll do my best for heavenly father you that work miracles my life is in your hands and i place everything in your hands so as i was saying when i was growing up i was living with my stepfather my mother so a time my mother had to travel so i was around 12 years when she traveled 11 or 12 when she had she had to go and look for work to do because in saint lucia it wasn't so easy for us and i didn't go to school as i explained before in my previous videos I couldn't go much school because I had to go and help with the famine and everything and you know so my today I'll be explaining how I find worms on my bed at the age of 20 years at, at 20 years I was already at my home I had my own house and I didn't spend much not even a year living in it so to make it short it was about when we were about 19 we decided to build our own home because sometimes i had to be going and live at my grandmother because of my stepfather he would just start on insulting me and just being aggressive he didn't touch me he never laid his hands on me maybe once but he didn't touch me but his words his words like just like was like swords or by like bullets entering into your heart. It wasn't easy growing up as a young girl and all the time like you have you I was I'm someone like I don't want people to hear people shouting at me. When I was growing up I was so I was so shy like I didn't want people to talk loud to me but him he would curse me he would tell me some nasty things and he would just go on and on so i didn't want to stay at his home again so you know when you're growing up and you don't know god you're living in, in you're living in such way like you know you think that it is the best way so i'm not saying that for you to judge me so like no i didn't know god as a, as a, at a young age so i'm talking about my as what I went through and the hands of the Lord was already upon my life not anyone's hands but the Lord so when we started to build we such we was looking for a place to build so we saw that place but there were there, there that place people used to throw a lot of garbage and everything plastics bottles everything you can imagine and that's where I had to be cleaning. We had to be pulling and pulling and pulling and just taking out all this rubbish, all this. Just we need that spot because we see we that's we didn't have any other choice. There was no choice. There was no choice. So I was happy, so happy, so that I would be at my home. I didn't. I didn't that didn't make me feel any because as I was growing up, I was accustomed to working hard and doing things. So we cleaned that area and we started to build. He was working and buying the materials to build and I used to carry. Sometimes I, I used to have my own money and I used to give, like 
I used to travel, I was already traveling in Martinique. I used to buy things, I used to sell. And I used to give that mister that was like a father to me, sorry, because he was he was the one doing all the furnitures for us in the area that we used to live. And far off people used to come to him and I when I used to come in Martinique, I used to take the the papers like they have furnitures and things like that and I used to tell him I want you to do that for me I want you to do that bed that wardrobe for me and I want you to do this that my table I want it to be like that my chairs I want it to, to be like that I wanted it to be different like what we had in St. Lucia and at the age of 19 I already had I had all what a woman would be needing when you go in at your home when you would be taking your house or whatever, renting or whatever. So I started to buy plates and everything and everything. Another age of 20, when I went at my home, I didn't need anything from anyone. I had everything. So after a good while, I saw that room on my bed because I decided like it was a Saturday and I said tomorrow I'll be going to church, but it was, it was in the Catholic church. I I'm going to church tomorrow. So afterwards, when I came back, I wanted, I feel like I wanted to go and rest myself, but I would not go on my bed because when I fix up my bed, I want to, I want it to stay just the way it is until I'm ready to go and sleep in the night. So I said, man, I never like going, I never sleep, um, I doesn't sleep during the day, but I'll go and rest in that room. When I went in that room, I couldn't sleep. I was so, I was feeling a, a kind of like depression or I was so agitated, like I was turning and turning and turning and turning and turning. So after I, I lay down and I was just watching the bed. I don't know why, just staring at it. And I saw a little thing crawling. So I said, what's that? So I kill it, I kill it, second one, the third one, so I say, what is that? Little worms on my bed, so what's that, what is that? But that is a new mattress and everything, everything is clean, there is no smell, there is no, like if, if it was something that was dead, I would take the smell, so what's going on? And that is not the type of worms that does be on, on dead animals or things like that. So what is going on so i took a piece of tissue paper a towel and i just say i would bring it to my mother's house to show her because she was around about um 10 or 15 minutes walk away from where i used to to live so when i brought it out of home she told me what is that where did you find that i told her it it was on my bed they are on my bed so I we decided to show the neighbors around. My mother went and showed them what that what you think about that my daughter find that on her bed. Whoa, what's that? Why don't you find that? How can you find that on your bed? And she was saying, How can you find that? How they were saying, How can you find that on your bed? So I don't think don't take that back into your house. So I told them there is no need of me taking it back because all the bed where I was, where I was lying are uh, covered with that type of thing. I don't know what it is. So the, the last person I showed it to was my step ex stepmother. In so I told her I think I'll burn that mattress. I'll burn everything on that bed. She told me no 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 don't burn it don't burn it don't burn it. So I say, well, if that's what she said, I'm not burning it. But after a few days, after a few days, I decided to go and spend some time at my grandmother. So I, I took everything, I took a few clothes and just throw it in a bag and I say I'll go and spend three days at my grandmother. Just so, just so without planning anything, without anything. I say I'll go and spend some time at my grandmother. So after when I reached that night, I felt in my heart, you spend 
the day there. Tomorrow, go back at your home. There is something going on, and you must give back. So I said, I'm feeling so, I'm feeling so agitated. So what is going on? I cannot understand. So when tomorrow came, I said to my grandmother, I'm going back home because there is something going on. I must go back home. She told me, but you just came there yesterday and you said you'll be spending three days. I said, no, no, I have to go back home. So I just, when I was going back home, I felt in my heart, take everything you have in that house and just leave that house. Just leave that house, just leave. I talked to my uncle and I told him, look for two transports for me. I cannot stay in that house, I have to leave. And I just went home, I just packed everything, everything. He came and he helped me very well. And we packed up everything in that the vehicles and we left. Everyone was surprised and shocked what's going on, what's going on. But everyone in that family was already um like they were vexed, they were they were they had already changed with me without knowing without I knowing or doing anything. And that's how I left that house with everything but after a week that woman that was with my ex-boyfriend came and lived after a few days that I left my home that was like like a tractor like something like 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 a bomb that they had just dropped on me and I was so distressed I was so I was feeling so bad and my hair I started to lost my hair lost weight and that was it for that first part I, I will be explaining some more about that and she was passing that young lady and checking my my house keys my house keys for me and just nagging me and everyone was against me everyone was against me like i i i don't know why i was always good to them nothing went wrong nothing went wrong and that was it that was it so just to show you that that type of what could have what could happen to me if it wasn't for God? Who knows what, what was what reason it was there for or what can I say? So be strong. You are not alone. You are not alone. God is with us. If God is with us, who can be against us? So trust God. Trust God half faith. And I'll be sharing with you the rest. Step by step, I will be explaining to you. I will show you how God has been good to me. My life story is long. My life story is long. To God be the glory. And I'll even talk before that episode, before the age of 20 or whatever, what happened to me and why people around didn't like me. I will be explaining to you. So keep watching enjoy the rest of the day the night whatever time you will be watching me and be pleased be blessed excuse me be blessed and know that god loves you god loves you and he will take care of us no matter what situations no matter he is with you he will protect you until next time bye bye